hi guys welcome back to my channel um i know i've been missing for a little bit but if you guys follow me on instagram uh, then you know that i have been sick for a while now in january i had a terrible sinus infection towards the end of january we had the stomach bug which was awful and then we all just got over having the flu so a lot of you guys seem to have found our channel from my sacrifices we make to homeschool video and if you haven't seen that already then maybe i can link it i think it's up here or up here somewhere and i thought i would pop in here to do a quick update it probably not going to be quick though <laughs> but i wanted to do an update on um on that video on the sacrifices that we made and kind of where I am right now and what I feel like that sacrifice produced um, for me choosing to stick to it and all that jazz um, but basically in that video I was talking about how we as a family have to make a lot of sacrifices in order to make homeschool a priority and it was difficult and I was feeling pulled in many different directions since I've been staying home and homeschooling I also do a lot of other things to try to bring in money to compensate for the fact that I don't have an income that is helping our family out. And so that was really pulling on me and I was just really confused and frustrated and I wasn't able to, to homeschool the way that I, I want to and the, the vision that I had for homeschooling for our family. And so I got to the point where I just needed to choose what to focus on and uh, sacrifice the rest of the stuff that I was trying to go after to help me stay afloat, I guess. Well, how that looks for me and our family is I am a photographer, so I was taking sessions. I am also do design on the side, and so I was taking those type of projects. Uh, we also have a, a t-shirt business um, well, we're building a brand and that consists of t-shirts right now. Um, and it's called the Fall Co. It stands for the Faith and Love Life. And um, the Lord put that on my heart a while ago. And uh, so we started that up at the beginning of last year. So we also had that as well. And just any other little things that I could do along the way that would help bring in some money in order for us to keep it moving in homeschool and there not be so much pressure on us as a family. One major reason that that pressure was so heavy at that time is because my husband lost his job the year prior to that. That really was just like a whirlwind for us because we spent a very long period of time not only without myself having an income, a job and an income, but then also him. And so that took us on this journey of Gosh, that was such a journey, <laughs> like really bad. But sometimes I feel like we're led into certain spaces to to be able to weed out what is not important and focus on what really is important. And um, that's kind of what we did in short. I needed to decide to focus on one thing. And for me, that was homeschool. So I spent the next uh, several months just saying no to a lot of photography jobs, saying no to a lot of design things, um, and choosing to put homeschool first in our family. And it was hard. <laughs> like, it was painful, you know, and, and sometimes it, it was, it was a lot of choosing joy and believing that we, I was making the right decision. But I'm so grateful that I chose to do that. And through that time, it brought me a lot of clarity. It, it let me know that um, that I was on the right road. I gained a lot of strength in my homeschooling and confidence in homeschooling. I was able to focus on the kids a lot more. Our vision just got more clear for our family and what we want out of this homeschool life and what we want out of just this family life in general. And that started with me saying no to those other things and saying, you know what, these jobs are not my source and I need to not be focused on the money and be willing to sacrifice and get uncomfortable because you can't have things that you would like to have, whether it be going out to eat regularly or 
you know having that new set of pillows for your couch or whatever else it is just sacrificing the the idea that you need to have those things and really focusing on what is really important to you um i feel like i'm talking a lot but that's the point right okay um <laughs> So that's what happened. Um, I chose to focus on homeschooling and getting us to a good place and laying a, a strong foundation. And that's what I did during that time. I made more videos here, but um, more than making the videos here, I was really, you know, able to tune into us as a homeschooling family. And I was able to work on the scriptures that build me up and remind me of why I'm doing this. And I was able to work on some creative things that visually helped me to see what the the goal is and what I have in my heart for educating our children and being good people you know that really is the goal like education is so important it really is but I believe that it doesn't come the way that we've been trained to think that it comes because we've had to be a part of school system the beauty of homeschooling for me is that I have that freedom and that space to explore what education means to us and how we want to use the education that we're receiving and I want kind compassionate children I want their education to come from experience and you might have a goal or a vision for what you want for your children but I've been having to work that out and I've been having to explore what that means because I was in the public school system and that is how I saw education but I'm also a very creative person um, I like to put my hands to things I love to film I love to take pictures I love to paint I love to draw I'm not good at it <laughs> but <laughs> Uh, but I love to draw. I think that that was a lot of things that I was lacking in my my education is that I wasn't able to put my hands to enough and learning things just inside of a book, um, it really strips you of the joy that comes from learning about your environment and your surroundings and the importance of being able to connect to other people and be in relationship with other people. And is that not what life is about? I really had to sit and just think about that like is life about making money and is life about having a title or being able to have a position and a job a high position so the Lord really has been taking me on this journey of showing me what is really important it was pivotal for me because if I am the holder of the vision in our homeschool I need to be able to back up what I, I feel like I believe. And, and this time period has really been so very important for me saying, hey, I believe this. Not only do I believe it, but I believe it so much that I'm going to do this. And so saying no to those things that would give me money here and there or possibly give me a name as a photographer. It just, it took me on another portion of this beautiful journey that is homeschool for me. And I, the other day, I have another video that's coming up about who we've been studying, which is Jane Goodall, which you guys, I love this woman okay <laughs> but i never knew that she, she was actually an, an, an she is an environmental scientist but she wasn't formally educated that's the the short version of it and just to see all that she was able to put her hands to and experience and learn about her surroundings and things that she loved and she had to sacrifice um not having a title or not being respected in the uh, scientific community and not getting a uh, pay or all those things that we've come to start searching for in life that aren't important anyway I could go on and on but I'm just so grateful for this journey and then guess what else I noticed you guys I have my hashtag grateful mug and I didn't do it on purpose like I didn't but I also just wanted to um, update you guys I've been turning down a lot of business um, I had stopped putting focus on the business that we started, the brand that we started, the t-shirt brand. Stopped taking design work um, just to focus my heart on homeschool. And through that time, the things that came out of that was so much clarity. And then I also developed a very good schedule for us. 
Uh, you guys know how much I hated the schedule, but <laughs> um, by trying to stick to it and getting getting some trial and error accomplished, I learned that the schedule is really good for me, but I also don't have to live by the schedule all the time. So having a schedule in place is really helpful, um, and I'm glad that I have added that to our um, the way we do things. But at the same time, I'm not so strict with the schedule that when there are times where I need to just let it go a little bit so that I can get something else accomplished or um, move something else into the you know top priority spot, then I'll do that. So we have been following, you guys already know that we have been following our geography unit and that is part of our schedule. And then um, I entered into a couple of weeks where we had been sick for a decent amount of time and I was able to let go of the schedule and focus on, you know, just healing and, you know, a lot of cuddling, a lot of uh, character type conversations with the kids and being able to get a lot of one on one time in um, in the areas that they needed it. And now that I'm starting to feel better, I'm slowly easing back into our strict schedule and um, I'm extending the geography unit uh, for maybe another week before we move on to the next one. But I've gotten a very good grasp on how we do things and the systems that I have in place that I then use to my advantage. Sometimes I pick up one system and when it's not a good fit for what's going on in our lives at the current time, then I put down that system and I pick up a different system. And that's really, really been helping me and my confidence has gotten even stronger and I'm just really getting into a very good groove in homeschool and we have a very solid foundation going on and I'm so grateful for that. About a week or so ago, I realized that now that I had a stronger foundation in homeschool, it no longer needed my attention the way that it needed um, when I was having the issue of trying to figure out what to focus on and the sacrifices that we made. And so I slowly realized that now I didn't need to focus as much on it because things were going well in this area and that I needed to focus a little bit more of my attentions on our business that we started, which was the Falco. And so that's what I started to do. And it naturally was a great decision because I wasn't feeling well. So we were, I was spending a lot of time snuggled up in my bed, you know, with the kids trying to recover. And so it was... You know, it wasn't possible for me to be up teaching really actively like I normally do. And it wasn't possible for me to be filming videos. But what I could do was the work that I needed to do, some behind the scenes work on the Falco, some designing, some connecting with our printer and things like that. And during that time frame, the doors really opened in that area. So I've been focusing a little bit more of my attentions in that area. And for homeschool, we're just in a really good spot. Like we're in a really sweet spot. And I'm excited because we have a lot of fun videos that we planned on working on together. Cameron's really excited about um, sitting down to film some of his creation videos. And Kendall's really excited about doing some more cooking videos. How I plan on changing the way we do things with um, homeschool as far as this channel is concerned is that instead of trying to film and edit throughout the week, I'm designating our day off, which is Fridays. Um, Friday is our free day. That is going to be our day to film homeschool videos. So it's still homeschool. It's just not our regular schedule. Some of the ideas that we have, we'll be able to sit down and just get those filmed and edited and scheduled to be posted for the next week. Then I'm also going to be doing uh, something pretty exciting and scary over at our vlog channel. Um, I'm kind of sort of doing a 21 day type of challenge over there. So I will be filming and posting a lot over there. Um, it's going to be more of a documentary style and I'm excited about that because you guys already know that I want to be a filmmaker and I want to tell our own story. So 
I'm gonna be working on that. Um, what else did I want to tell you guys? Also, one of the things that we are working on in homeschool now is, and you guys had kind of suggested this when I did the last sacrifices video. I had I had already been thinking about it, but you guys just gave me the extra like, yes, yeah, Serena you might be going in the right direction. So that was really cool. I'm developing a business class for the kids. Brian and I are doing the fall coat and we're working on the fall coat, but the kids are always there and they're always showing so much interest and they're so helpful. They're such a major part of building that business. So joining that with homeschool, I thought it would be the perfect opportunity to give them a section of the business and let that be their business course. It would be hands-on experience and not only just teaching them about how to start a business or doing a, a smaller version like a lemonade stand, which nothing is wrong with the lemonade stand, okay? But I thought that would be the perfect opportunity to give them real life, hands-on experience in this area. And so while Brian and I are working on the adult side of things, um, on building our business, why not have the kids join in and be a part of it as well and give them their own section of the business. That is going to be called the Fall Co Kids and the kids are basically gonna head that one up. Anyway, thank you to whomever encouraged me in that area because it was an idea that I had that I was just like, hmm, how, how, am, how is this gonna work? How am I gonna make this happen? And through focusing first on our foundation in homeschool, it's really fueled and given me enough strength to move forward and I think that timing is everything and so that may have not have been the right time for me to do that then, but I can definitely see the right time coming very soon. I hope you guys just follow along and continue to support me the way that you guys have been and um also thank you for your patience and you know allowing me to get back to you as i am able to i love reading you guys emails and i love being in contact with you i'm excited about us growing together i like some of uh, you know a lot of the friendships the tiny little interweb friendships that have developed through just sitting here and talking to a camera. This is exactly what I'm seeing right now. I'm sitting on the couch in my house, just talking to a camera. And somehow, you know, when I go and edit this and upload this, I will actually be talking to people all over. And I am so grateful for that. Like how, how cool is that? Like how awesome is that? What a wonderful tool it is to be able to connect other update, I've also been working on getting our P.O. box back um, so that you guys that have been wanting to uh, do pen pal type of things with the kids and stuff, I'm so excited about getting that started. And I was beating myself up about um, not getting back to you guys promptly or having it um, done you know, as quickly as I would like to, but I'm I'm just gonna say, I'm not, I'm just not a machine. I had to tell myself that. I'm like, I am a person and I do. And sometimes these days, how instant, you know, our lives have become as far as like social media and things like that. I'm not instant, you know, but I hope that you guys know that even though I'm not responding as quickly as maybe people would like, that the love is there. Like, I, I'm so excited to be doing this and to be able to communicate with you guys in these ways and just if you just continue to have patience with me. Um, I'm just excited for things to come, you guys. And I know that this video is probably a ton longer than, I'm, <laughs> than it's supposed to be. Um, I just wanted to update you guys on the sacrifices video. And yes, um, there are a lot of sacrifices that are made for me in my homeschool life and our homeschool journey, but they are so worth it. And I am excited to see what is to come in the future, but I'm really just trying to focus on this process and the journey and learning all that I can learn in these moments and just really soaking stuff up. You know, I'm just, I'm really trying to soak it all up. So thank you guys so much for watching this video.
You can visit our blog at serenabblog.com backslash homeschool or Instagram at Serena B. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.